I'm Luis Molero, I'm the lead bee inspector for the Scottish Government and my job is to achieve a sustainable population of honeybees in Scotland for the production of honey and pollination. Honeybees are responsible for up to a third of the food that you usually consume, um, but they also have an impact on plant uh, biodiver um, um, biodiversity and population, not only in the quantity but also as well in the variety of it. Honeybees are so good at what they do, they are such generalists that they, if they are too many of them, they might outcompete wild pollinators. There is also the risk that if honeybees uh, they, they have disease or their health is not adequate, they might spread pathogens to wild pollinators. So that is why it's really important the work that we do in the Scottish Corning in terms of teaching, education and also keeping a healthy population of honeybees. So we are not only protecting our honeybees but we are protecting the environment and other wild pollinators. One of the challenges that we have is that there is no uh, compulsory registration of beekeepers, so it's based on a voluntary registration. Um, currently we have 3,000 registered beekeepers in Scotland. The vast majority of them are hobby beekeepers and the number of hives that they have, they change between 2 to, to 10 hives. Um, there's no a definition of what a commercial beekeeper or a commercial bee farmer is neither. So it is a wee bit of a, of a fluid uh, line there. But we usually quote that there are around 26 uh, commercial uh, beekeepers or bee farmers in Scotland. I find very difficult in terms of disease control uh, the concept that we don't know where all the bees are or where the beekeepers are. So we are always trying to encourage all beekeepers to register and to keep the location of the apiaries up to date. That's the best way that we have to protect them and to help them and warn them if we find disease close to their hives. Um, Secondly, is also the education of beekeepers and good management practices. It's very important that beekeepers uh, learn how to identify disease. Uh, they are confident in knowing when they need to call us the, in the bee inspectorate and they understand as well their legal obligations as beekeepers uh, from disease control. But also, let's not forget that they are producing a food product, so it's really important that they understand uh, the, 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 their responsibilities in, in terms of food safety. Bee farming or, or commercial beekeeping in Scotland is quite challenging. Uh, it's very weather dependent. Uh, we have a very short season. Usually it goes from April till the end of August. But some years, like for example this year, that we had a really difficult uh, May, we didn't start to go out to do inspections till June. So, and the, and, the, and the honey yields from the plants are also very dependent on the weather, the temperature and the rainfall. So it's a hard work and full of admiration for uh, the commercial beekeepers in Scotland that are trying to do a really good job.